Boom. By the way, I never talked about my uh, my ban, my Malphite ban. Uh, I don't think it's a must. I mean, it's super annoying to play against Malphite, like you can't really play. Only way to play it is to bring him on side lane, out rotate, so then he's gonna TP and out impact you. So you go back to side lane, you bring him on side lane and you out rotate again. And now you have like 20, a 20 second window to try to make something happen. Basically, that's your only way out in mid late game. Um, uh, I think it's not fun play against this champion, so I just ban it, but it's not the only option, you could ban Jax, it's often gonna be picked against uh, Trindamir, you could ban Fiora, and I think these are like the three most annoying to have champions to play against, and Fiora is supposed to, to beat you if she's really good, but if she's not... I think it's very manageable. So actually, uh, I'd say I'd say Jax or Malphite. These are uh, the two like uh, champions. It's easier to cut their Trindamir on at any elo. But it's just an advice. If you want to jig at Chad it and not ban it, it's, it's okay. Also, do what you want. As so long as you perform in game. Okay, I like that they have three AP. Um, like their enemy team, if if they were all AD and Karthus was full AP, it would be way more scary than all AP and Hecarim is only AD. Um, do I want to go double? Nah, if the jungler was AP, I would go double magic resist. It's really good, it's cocking uh, Karthus, but we are not gonna be able to stack too, too much uh, magic resist though. Okay, we're having diamond uh, players on this account already. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, I still need to get the wake up. Yesterday I played a game, uh, a game against uh, Sinch on the main, I think. And uh, I show you a few tricks. So here I will sh show you again. Basically against this champion. As long as you're in range to hit him. Hit him as much as you can. Just hit, just hit. And... Um, and when he gets out of range, you instant stop chasing and uh, and you don't look to, to hit anymore. And by doing that, you will all damage his poison. If you just spent a few seconds moving when you couldn't actually actually hit him and beat him, um, you're gonna you're gonna lose. Basically, I will I will show you how it's done. I will show you how it's done. So if you feel like uh, Sinch is gonna proxy from wave 1, you can just walk, up, walk, walk with your wave Welcome to Rift. when it spawns and this way like you escort it and he can do shit. Yo Tam, always a pleasure to have you early in the morning. Have a great day at work. And see you soon on Dofus. I really like the new bush uh, animations. Okay, so we have Kassadin against Akali. I think he can be fine. Uh, he can be fine if he plays it well and and look to just scale. Basically, he has a TP. He has his uh, natural shield. Akali is actually not that strong very early on. So he can manage and scale. Um, I actually don't want to to pull. If I help Rengar, like since he's just gonna clear the the wave super quick and 
and she's gonna decide what's happening on top side. Let's go. Moi aussi, je peux plus trop jouer, mais euh, ça va se faire. Oh, what is this? <laughs> She think like. Uh... Like five uh, five hits from the from the buff. What happened? I mean, this is gonna help me for sure. So you see, I start walking to him. If he runs away, I'm not gonna look to chase. Be careful. Also, now he has E, so I shouldn't chase him. Too close to his turret because he could just flip me like right now he can flip me under his turret so i'm gonna be very careful yep just like that but i've been more careful still it's okay just not again Okay, he's pushing back to me now. He used all of his potions. I'm Trindamir, so I have infinite sustain. Here you go. Here you go. So you see, even with the turret shot, I still outraded him by just... Just hit him when I could. Great. Crit. Hmm. It's okay. I'm 20 CS to 11. One kill ahead. He has no TP. So... By slow pushing, I'm actually gonna make him miss most HP. The most uh, CS. Uh, okay, now I'm looking to what? I have uh, 1000 gold, so I'm actually not ahead right now, because I didn't spend my gold. So I need to find a way to have a good reset, so I can back and spend my, my gold, basically. Problem is, he's gonna start proxying. So, it might not be easy. Crit. Nice. Might not be easy to find a reset, but it's gonna... It's gonna end up happening. Um, I actually like to go Tiamat against Singe. Huh. Okay, he stopped proxying for some reason. I mean, maybe it's because he has no sums. See, as long as I can hit, I hit. And I win that, even if he has armor and I have nothing, I still win the trade. I thought I could have the two autos because I still had lethal tempo stacks. But I didn't. Okay, a little advanced trick for you guys. Here, it's a cannon wave, so we could think, uh, well, I can reset on the cannon wave. It's gonna be like uh, even waves and uh, it's gonna push to one side or another based on luck when it's even waves meeting. But the thing is, if, you, if I left kick on my minions, I see here 2% 100. This means that my minions are actually stronger than enemy minions at this point of the game because we're ahead so it's actually like the minions are stronger on the side or another based on um, how many turrets you took and the average level in a team versus the other team so knowing that i know that if i let two waves match mine is gonna be stronger so it's gonna kill his minions before um the opposite happens and this makes it so I cannot really back 
because I'm gonna lose a lot of minions. Little, uh, little advanced trick, but actually super important to keep in mind because it changes the whole uh, wave dynamics. Rengar is invading, so I could go straight, but I'd rather take this first. I love proxying on a singed, giving him a taste of his own medicine. I mean, I don't think much can happen here. I'm gonna proxy the next one. The thing with proxying against... Nah, the the Nope. Bad. Rule number one, guys. Never chase a Sinjed. It's bad, bro. So the thing uh, with proxying against Sinj is Sinj, in between waves, he cannot do much, right? He only has his poison. And he really cannot do much. But you, as Trindomir, you can take camps in between waves. Like the best thing Sinch can do is actually uh, go uh, go roam mid to gank, something like that. But you can take camps, herald, things like that. So you actually get a bigger lead by. Uh, By proxying yourself. But why does he want to gank a Singe though? I mean, it might work this time. Yeah, with this ult and my flash and ghost and ult, it had to work. Hmm. It's very unlikely that someone is top. Yeah, Hecker is in our bot side. So, guys, it's time to take plates, I guess. And to get Giga fed. Okay, that's that's big. I probably can kill the jungler. Okay, I have a ton of gold. Let's go, Hydra. This, this. Uh, so what's happening in the game? So I'm super far ahead, then jungle. My jungle is actually ahead. He has Eclipse already. We see Hecarim, so he's gonna clear uh, top to bot again. Then Akali is doing... Uh, Pretty well, which is very annoying for me. Kali is a big Trindomir counter. I'm actually I'm not looking to chase Singe. I'm just looking to take these. I have nothing to tape uh, in the enemy top side, so I'd rather take these instead. Does he have ult? If he has ult, I can agree and we can go. Uh, 
uh, is it okay if I answer in English? Um, so we're asking why Hydra first? Uh, saying that Tiamat may be enough. Well, uh, actually, like, you still push way faster with the with Hydra than Tiamat, and I mean, I mean, Hydra is still a good item by itself because of the of the cleave healing, because of the extra AD it gives me. I know I can be pretty safe. And once you've invested on Tiamat, I feel like uh, like once you spend that gold, it's actually good to to go for the whole. I mean, look at that. The wave is legit instant cleared. When If I just have Tiamat, it's kind of the same that if I didn't have it. Like with Unun Quiver, I can in the wave and then auto, auto, auto and get it. So I'd rather have Hydra to instant clear everything. Hey, hey. Got it. And actually, because I'm fed, is actually the reason why I don't need to rush Kraken. Like, I don't need the, the extra damage from uh, from Kraken at this point. Boom, no ghost. I'm gonna deny this cannon. I'm gonna just wait a bit. Now I can push again. And Hydra allows me to stay on the map so long. Because I'm perma full HP. So yeah. These reasons. Mm, this has to be gone. Okay, now I have to decide. Do I want to reset just for... Um, Phantom Dancer, for example? Or do I want to... Oh, but yes, I still have my uh, my mythic to buy. So is it gonna be Kraken or Gale Force? I think it has to be Kraken. So I think I will stay on the map. I will stay on the map until uh, Herald is up. Get Herald. Okay, the bonus, yes. Merci. Have a great day, Tom. Always nice to have you. Okay, so I'm playing for Herald. Then after Herald, I will have the gold I need. Yeah, he's gonna flip me, I know. But I'm not looking to kill him. Looking to have enough pressure top side so I can just go for free Herald. So in some states of the game, guys, like your role is not to not to kill, not to take a turret, like you can't always force something. But it could be just to look for poor specs. Here I saw that I needed like a few hundreds for my Kraken Slayer. But then I asked myself, how do I get it? Okay, I'm not gonna... Like I don't have a smite, I cannot... Let's make a hacker him. I actually have my item or pretty soon. I could have actually done it, but I had no guarantee. I cannot outsmate a smite. So let's not take a risk and give them a way back in the game. Okay, now I have a feeling, so... He checked Herald, then he was like, I, I can't go for it. He went for uh, this camp, then he came back to check Herald. But then he left again. So there is a chance he went to play for... Um, for Drake instead. Yes, and I see Threshbot. So I can I can get this herald. 
Now I have to go top. There's a wave waiting for me. And I'm not gonna be there for Drake, but it's okay. You can't get everything in league. I'm not supposed to. Maybe my team can, but... Uh, it's their decision. It's in their hands. These camps are taken. Cannot play for them. Okay, now I'm giga huge. Oopsie. Giga huge. I could go bot, but I could go top. Oh, there's a pink here. Interesting. Mine. I think if I go, she just ults out and I don't catch him. So let's not force. Okay. When uh, I'm pretty fed, I have like 11 CS minutes. I have 3 kills, 2 items. I am pretty fed in this game. Yeah, I don't want to go too insane. I have a shutdown, a pretty big one. Not gonna fight until it's for something. There's a Nash in a minute. Okay. You see Hakarim? Yeah, I'm just there scaring them. Not gonna 1v3. Maybe I could go bot though. Me, bot. Go play on the map. Nash is up. I mean, I could just take this. that he could cleanse that. And we can just take this. Okay. It's two turrets, but... With my heralds, I will soon have the gold for my Navori. Still need 500. Where do I get them? Next wave, maybe Scuttle. Maybe Gromp. Gonna put my wards down because I'm gonna buy a red trinket anyway. And I'm getting this. Let's go! 250 CS, 21 minutes. Nash, we should Nash. But we keep killing the jungler and we keep not going for Nash. Wait though. Enemy has been slain. 
Where are you do? We, we can still go for it. But the, the Rengar, Rengar! Come, 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 guys, guys, guys! Ah, but. F <laughs> when does it stop? At what elo do the people finally understand that Nash wins games? I, f I feel like it was not this way, uh, like in the earlier seasons. Might be mistaken. Might have a cognic cognitive bias. Okay, I'm going bot. Now, hopefully, I can use my pressure. No, you don't go now. Uh, no, it's bad. Uh, why is it bad, guys? Um, it's bad because everyone backed on the enemy team. So they come back with gold. Spent and items. But we didn't. We're on the map. We've been on the map for uh, quite a long time. So they're way stronger than us. So it's a really bad Nash to take now. And now it's bad to pressure. Because look, Cog is dead. Rengar is in base. Shouldn't pressure too much. I didn't buy my red trinket again. Oops, my last auto didn't go off. So I'm flash and ghosting. Why? He ulted out. Go, 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 go. Because now it's a really good timer. To get the jungler. Because now we get Nash for it. So I didn't spend my uh, my resources for quite a long time because uh, like I said on the hacker and when I could ghost on him, I was like doesn't do shit. If I kill him, like he can just ult out and and we're not gonna get anything from it. But here, if I can hacker him, we we'll just get Nash. And we can walk towards ending the game. Bro, I'm legit. I'm legit for items. I mean, actually, he, it was good also on him, but gotta be selfish in this game. I saw him with my W. Ah. I kinda want to base for my PD. But I kinda want to... Yeah, I'm seeing what's happening here. I kind of want to just push also. Yeah, no need to play it correctly. I'm so fed at this point. We could get triple in here and reset. Rengar needs less help than uh, Kassadin to push. Rengar pushes like s giga fast. Nice! Awesome, that was a close to perfect game on my end. 
I could flex and take those CS just for uh, just for the stats. But I stopped doing it. Just playing to win. Big. Uh, let's honor uh, Rango. I mean, everyone played really well. Kassadin did his job. He was like 1-1 one one at 26 minutes, but he had scaled. Level 17. That's all we ask for. Botlin was a bit behind, but it didn't matter too much. Yeah, I could have had the 12 CS minutes for just for the title by taking this uh, this last uh, last minions. Uh, but yeah, it was a really good game. Awesome. Promoted to silver. Ah, oh, but it's the challenges. Okay, so now the elo on this account is like a uh, high plat, low diamond. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Do you think Trintop is better than me? Well, first, uh, huh, does he not show first time chatter? Oh, because you came at night typing OPGG. Well, first, welcome, uh, Lovers RS. And no, I don't think so. Trend mid is way better than Trend top, and it has been for um, at least a season and a half now. Uh, but uh, I personally enjoy playing it top more. I I like being isolated on the map. I like the top lane matchups. I like playing against melee uh, melee champions, and and I like having a, a long lane to manipulate. I love wave management, and in mid lane you have way less. Wave management. So so yeah, it's not it's not better, it's just better for me, basically. <laughs> 